Well, good evening, folks. This video is going to be attention Marcos Lopez, Sheriff of Osceola County Sheriff's Department, that I'm suing in federal court with Governor Ron DeSantis, three state court judges, and 25 corrupt females from DCF to the Child Protection Team and everybody else that keep covering child abuse, yeah? The, the, the things, the events that have happened today is very predicted, and it's been predicted all along the way throughout the day, including his deputy's misconduct tonight. And I want to document it here on video it's for the public to hear about. Um, I'm not able to post a lot of this on social media. There's other people posting it, but I'm video documenting it. And all the videos of the sheriff's office and the sworn statements and the complaints have been documented. And the fact that they covered up and didn't investigate it again. Today I had visitation with my four-year-old daughter and five-year-old son that I have not seen in a month. And the last time I saw them was at the visitation center for the county in front of a monitor that listens to every word you say with your children and documents it and puts it on the court record. The last time I saw them a month ago, my son said that he was left in the crack house where a big fight broke out at a party and there was blood everywhere. And that's why his friend can't come over to the house anymore. And it was all documented, put on court record, emergency motions to remove custody. The corrupt Judge Holly and Darenthal swept it all under the rug. No child hearsay allowed. No testimony from the monitor. No testimony from your kids. Motion denied, motion denied. She just keeps covering up all the abuse. So today, I haven't seen my son or my daughter in a month. And my son was acting very strange with me in the beginning of the visitation. We had a great visit, by the way, you know, played on the playground, did toys, Legos. I brought them McDonald's, Happy Meals, you know, everything. But my son was acting very strange. And in the beginning of the visitation, he, he did some stuff that was clearly um, in, he was instructed to do and instructed to say. And he was lying. And I know my son, he was lying. One of the things he did is he pulled his shirt up and he goes, Daddy, I got to show you this. I have these two marks on my back in the middle of my spine. And I have big bruises and cuts that hurt. And uh, I fell off a bike. And I knew he was lying. A little history on this. My drug addicted uh, porn star prostitute wife that had me falsely arrested. That's a Thai immigrant from a whorehouse in Thailand. Um, and I was falsely imprisoned. She was impeached as a witness for per for committing perjury. Admitting in perjury to get to an injunction. Um... I got not guilty on all counts deliberated by a jury of my peers, uh, you know, on and on and on. Uh, she has all these porn fans and prostitution client boyfriends, including this one in particular that goes by the name Neil. Um, that's a Customs and Border Patrol police officer that has a bunch of kids as well and a divorce case and everything else. He's a scumbag. He's one of her porn fans and prostitution clients. He's incited public violence against me before. And uh, he's been beating my kids, including my son, punching him in the back. And I have videos of my kid uh, saying this, you know, going back years. So I know where these bruises came from. I knew my son was lying and covering it up. He was instructed to tell me this. So my son also discloses that he is in fear of uh, telling me the truth about some bad stuff that's going on because he's going to be in big trouble with mom. Now, I also have videos going back years of the mom threatening to beat the shit out of him if he talks to DCF or the police about the stuff that's going on. So they've already they've already terrorized my son, scare scared him into telling the truth. So it's pretty hard to get the truth out of him. But finally, he tells us the truth. And it's all documented. The monitor is a witness to it. And he tells us a list of things. First of all, he's been being left with his th four-year-old sister in the crack house, Michelle Gillum's house across the street. The obese black woman that is a drug trafficker and a drug addict that gets her autistic son high and drunk every day that I've reported to the sheriff's office, DCF, and everything else, and they, they cover it up and sweep it under the rug. Um, DCF left my kids in, in that house for three days. Uh, that woman has been arrested for, in one arrest, for child neglect, possession of cocaine, possession of marijuana, possession of paraphernalia. She's got a long drug history and does, does her husband in Illinois. And uh, my kids have been injured, left in this crack house before around them smoking drugs around them. And he says to us today that he, him and his sister have been left in the house several times and that they're smoking drugs around them again in the same room. So this is all documented today. So I confront the supervisor of the visitation center and the monitor and notify them that they are mandatory reporters to DCF and that it is a felony if they don't contact law enforcement and DCF about what they've uncovered today. And same as a month ago, they didn't report it. They're not reporting it. 
She gave me some things saying that she has to talk to her supervisor. She works in the courthouse and she works with the judge and yada, yada, yada. I'm not going to accuse them of any misconduct at this point because they've done a really good job. And I thank you guys for it. They've documented the truth on court record. They haven't taken a side. They haven't lied. Well, they did lie about one thing. But anyways, we'll see what the report says when it comes on the court record this week. But at this point, I had to report this to law enforcement. So when I got home, oh, so let me back up. Not only the smoke and the drugs, at the end of the visitation, he also st stated and changed his story that he fell on a swing at the next door neighbor's house. But the next door neighbor's house, I know the kid he's talking about doesn't have a swing. And even his, his four-year-old sister confronted him and says, you're lying. You didn't get that injury on a swing and there's no swing at Nicholas's house. So we know he's lying and he's covering up where the injuries probably came from is the CBP officer, Neil. Okay. The, the porn fan prostitution client boyfriend of my prostitution porn star drug addicted wife that they keep covering up. So anyways, I call the sheriffs out. It's all on video. It's all documented on the three page sworn statement. It's all been recorded. It's all going to be publicized. You all get to read it. And they, I says, look, I want criminal felony charges filed I'm signing a sworn affidavit against my wife, against Michelle Gillum, and against Neil, the CBP officer. Here are the allegations. Here's the witness that heard it out of my son's mouth. Uh, you guys, as mandatory reporters, you took an oath. Violation of your oath is a third-degree felony. Official misconduct is a third-degree felony. I'm asking you as police officers, two police cars in the front yard of my fiance's house tonight, sworn statements. They say they're going to go investigate it. Guess what happened? Wrong. Covered up. I just got a phone call from the woman, and she said that they sent an officer out to investigate. They got pictures of the injury, and that my son claimed he fell off a hammock now. So falling off a bike has turned into falling off a swing, has now turned off to falling off a hammock. We know where it really came from, okay? And they said they didn't investigate any of the drug allegations because they're not drug enforcement. I said, no, this is not drug crimes. As I clearly articulated in my criminal complaint and on your body camera and on my video when I was videotaping you in my front yard. This is child abuse and child neglect. When you leave kids in a crack house with a crackhead smoking drugs around them, that's child neglect and child abuse. My wife needs to be charged. Michelle Gillum needs to be charged. That has a long criminal record of child neglect and, and uh, drug charges. Well, they didn't investigate nothing of that. She basically said that they went down there, they got a picture. They asked him about the injury. He said on a hammock, they didn't ask anything about the drugs. It's all swept under the rug. Here we go again. So, Marcos Lopez, can you answer me why your sheriffs are covering child abuse and child neglect again of my fucking kids? I'm tired of this shit. Okay? I want it to stop. Answer me in the comments below what you think about Marcos Lopez and the Osceola County sheriffs for doing this. I'm going to tomorrow type out a full criminal complaint with a list of criminal charges against everybody involved violation of oath of office, official misconduct, all of it. I'm tired of this shit. Not reporting, mandatory reporters, not reporting child abuse and child neglect to DCF, as they always do, not investigating, and on and on and on. It's all going to be public. It's all going to be put on court record in my divorce case and injunction cases, uh, uh, you know, everywhere. I'm tired of this shit. What does it take? Are you going to wait till my kids get killed, raped, molested, so they, here's the other thing. In my criminal complaint, I'm demanding that the children go into another child forensic interview with body camera, with the sheriff present, and the mother not there, and be questioned in a safe environment with a professional with the sheriffs with body camera, as I requested before. And they lied to me on video and said they were going to do it, and then they turned the body camera off and had the sheriff leave the room. No. This needs to be done. And on top of that, I'm requesting and demanding a drug test be done on my two children, four and five years old. I want drug tests done on the children. I want a proper investigation done with a professional, with police, with body camera. Enough, motherfuckers.